Hey friends, here's a super fun 12 minute beginner abs workout, perfect for getting ready for summer. Let's kick things off with some warm up crunches. For this workout, there will be three rounds of eight exercises each with 30 seconds of rest in between. Your focus for each of these exercises is going to be on your breathing technique as well as engaging the full extent of each movement. I love using oblique crunches to help define those 11 line abs while helping to bring together your abdominals. These streamline crunches are a great way to test to see if you can shift your abdominal engagement to the upper half of your abs. Since your arms are wrapped around your head, a lot of your body weight will be shifted to your upper half. So you want to feel as though someone's pulling your arms away from your core to create that nice arc. These Russian twists are a really great way to test your mobility. If you're just starting out, I recommend you keep your feet on the ground and focus on twisting to each side as much as possible. Here's your first boat hold of a few in this workout. Even though it is a static pose, this definitely helps to engage every muscle in your body since you're trying to keep your core in line while also keeping good form. For mountain climbers, bring your knee as close to your chest as possible while feeling your abdominals sucking into your spine each time. Also remember to keep your shoulders aligned over your wrists. These Superman tuck-ins are a fantastic way to test your balance. If you're feeling up for a challenge, I recommend you go up into high plank and try to hold each pose out for 3 seconds. Great work friends, here's your first 30 second break. Your first quote of the workout is by Winston Churchill. Success is not final, failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. So whether you're just starting out on your fitness journey or maybe you've backtracked a little bit on your goals, don't worry too much about the minor mishaps. It's all about the courage to pick yourself up and keep going. Let's jump right back into these things with another static pose, this time in high plank. Again, keep your shoulders aligned over your wrists and make sure to shoot energy through your heels and toes.
triangle is the most stable form of geometry, so make sure that you're rooting your wrists and your toes into the ground. Keep your back straight and tip your hips up to the sky as much as possible. Let's roll onto our back and engage our core with these hinge crunches. Be sure not to lift your lower back off the ground and hinge from the hips. Stepping up a level with these flutter kicks, extend your legs straight and point your toes. Just imagine what it'll feel like to swim in the ocean or the pool over summer. Surprise, it's your second ab hold. This time, I challenge you to straighten your legs and lower them to the ground as much as possible while keeping your lower back on the ground. Let's target our obliques again with these easy star crunches. Make sure when you're reaching for your toes, you aren't just reaching with your arm, but engaging your entire core and trying to lift your upper body. Jumping into these hip bridges to target our back and glutes, make sure not to arch your back when you're lifting up and to tilt from your hips. Congrats, this is the second and last 30 second rest. Another little fun saying I thought I'd share with you is one from my mom herself. She says, have an open heart and an open mind. So remember to go about your day with love, happiness, and a smile on your face for yourself and those around you. right back into a static bridge hold, but this time you're gonna alternate lifting your legs. This is pretty hard because you're trying to keep your core engaged while lifting your hips and crunching with those legs. love this cat-cow activation but with a little bit of a twist so you're going to do what's called a stomach vacuum every time you go into a cat essentially you are sucking your core into your spine no this doesn't help you to form your abs but it definitely helps to protect and strengthen the area that keeps your organs in place
This bear hold definitely burns through your arms, your thighs, and your core. So stay strong and make sure to keep your back flat, your shoulders over your arms, and your hips aligned over your knees. No rest here. Step right back into a forearm plank. Guess what? You're almost 80% of the way done, so stay strong. Let's bring it up a level with these commandos. Each time you go up into high plank, feel as though you're shooting energy through your wrists. Avoid twisting your hips and try to keep your stomach parallel to the ground. Last round of crunches. You're over 90% of the way done. Keep it strong. Last exercise with these Russian twists. Make sure to twist all the way to the side as if you're going to touch your hands to the ground. Three, two, one. You did it! Congratulations! As always, thank you so much for working out with me and I'll see you in the next video.